Majesty the King absolutely too hasty in bestowing these particular titles to none other than two children. That's right, Princess Lily and Prince Archie. Over here now, it's mounting quite frankly because a lot of people believe what was the point of that? And some might say, of course, it's protocol, royal protocol, of course, historical, whatever you want to call it. But right now, it's not just them, but of course, it's Prince Harry too, who's now decided apparently that he's an all-American boy. But this hasn't played out too well within the inner circles of the British monarchy. As ever, let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying a lot of the videos, by the way. And welcome, one and all, brand new subscribers. I'm so glad. And yes, you know, it's like to put those matinees up. Glad you enjoy the films too. It's nice to have a bit of a change, isn't it? I found a cracker for you for the future. Couldn't believe it. You know, it's one of those films I saw years ago, and you know, you, you can't remember the title. Do you know what I mean? And then you find it, and you think, that's it. I didn't realise it was called that. Absolutely wonderful. Look out for that. That's coming soon. Now, let me explain. Oh, we'll have a quick wave. You're right. Morning. Yes. I don't know. Telling off here. Now, here's the thing. Now, I just find this incredible because, as we now know, Prince Harry's decided he wants to set his allegiance to the American market, and that's his prerogative. Apparently, he's really sore about the fact that uh, the Frogmore Cottage is still empty. That's something, as we told you about a while back, that Meghan and Harry felt the urgency for them to get out and then find the fact that, of course, Frogmore has been empty for all of that remaining time. There was a reason behind that, as we told you. William and Catherine felt it very indelicate for them to literally be on the same area. And and you can't blame them. The way that Meghan and Harry have trashed the British monarchy, why on earth should you now be running in fear of running into two people that have done so much damage to your family, your reputation and historicals? It's just ridiculous, isn't it, when you think? But here's where it gets even more interesting because now, of course, uh, the king himself, still, of course, recovering from his own health issues, has been advised to look at the line of succession again, and more importantly, the councillor of state, which Harry remains. If Harry's now deciding that, of course, he doesn't have a residence over here, and he's certainly not putting down Buckingham Palace, which was offered to him with a month in advance, you know, uh, sort of application, if he wishes to stay over here, well, he's not bothered with that. So he's clearly stating that his life, his world is definitely over in the United States, and that's fine. So how on earth can he now become literally a councillor of state? It becomes even more complicated because the British public, and there are a rising force over over here simply want all titles stripped and removed. Now, as we've told you before, the only real person that can do that would be the government. They can go forward and say, this is the will of the people. It happened many times before, particularly in the land of James I. You know, this is an historical monarchy. It goes back centuries. People are not happy. And more importantly now, what you've seen is this, that with, of course, Meghan and uh, Harry alongside their children, they've clearly no intention of making any contribution back over here to the Commonwealth, the United Kingdom. They've stated that, and that's fine. I'm not upset by that. That's what they want to do. But then why should you be allowed to have the Duke and Duchess titles, and more importantly, of course, his children, which they fought so hard for, balked at the idea, of course, of becoming the Earl of Dumbarton, but very quickly jumped on the fact when, of course, His Majesty the King very graciously offered those titles, Prince and Princess. Well, what use are they in America? A lot of people are saying. And also, why should they have them? Literally, if they're doing nothing for the county of Sussex, and more importantly now, Meghan openly trading, literally, to get her own lifestyle brand going. Either way, this is truly going to get messy and one of the hot topics that His Majesty the King will now have to deal with when he's back to more rigorous health. It's not going away. He knows it, the public know it, and so do Harry and Meghan. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.